the thing about Owen Kilmano, I think there she's a kink, Resty. A what? A kink. <laughs> why would why would why the way she acts like a dog, Resty? People you know, fucking people that do dog play, which is, you know, putting a putting a leash on someone and then walking them like a dog in public and shit like that. I mean, she is a dog. I mean, is it so weird to have a dog person, yokai? You already got Rin. She's a cat person, yokai. She doesn't fucking... She doesn't walk on four legs like Kaun does. I guess. Exactly. <laughs> it's just weird and kinky. I think. Well, sure. I think some uh, kinky, like, very turned on by that shit, man. I don't know. Uh, no one, no one actually has the balls to do anything lewd with her, though. She's very pure and cute, and everyone loves her. Well, Resty. Obviously, there's bound to be fucking porn of her. You, you just gotta look up we'll her name, you. and you'll see it. All over Jelburu or whatever. Exactly, I see it's... Mm. So yeah. she's meant to be a dog? Yes. Why does she have a horn on her head? Because, like I said, uh, in, in the, the, the common depictions of those guard dog statues that protect shrines, they do have horns. I do know them. I've seen one of them before. Can you show me a picture on the Discord? <laughs> sure, Just so hold I, have on. In... I need to freaking check fact check the name so I don't search the wrong bullshit somehow. Oh. She on also Kumano, has the Kamainu uh -huh. who guards places of religious worship. All right. Ah, Komainu. Komainu. Yeah, there it is. What does, what does Koma mean? Because, you know, Inu means dog. Then know. You know, Koma probably means guard. <laughs> Makes the most sense, yeah. Anyway, do you still want a picture? Of course I do. Ah, here's one. Send this one. Has a horde? <laughs> Jesus. Send it, Excuse me. Yes, Send yes. It, <laughs> I'm going through the Google. The Google? The Google Google Google? Google Gula 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 Here is a modern picture of a real life freaking Kumainu. Uh, hold on, where the fuck did I save the picture? So there's other guard dogs, right? Except for her? There's other ones aside from her? Uh, most likely, but so far she's the only character that we know. That is. That, sh that shit doesn't look like a goddamn dog. I guess it doesn't really, huh? That shit looks like a fucking yokai. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's, then why is there a tiny, that's the tiny point. one? That's the Komainu is indeed. Uh, I don't know, but I guess that that's the inspiration behind the fact behind why Komano has the fucking ability to split herself into two for some reason. She can split herself into two. Yeah, in one of her spell cards, she does that. It's a very she, annoying spell card to dodge, let me tell you. She doesn't split herself into two, she splits herself into multiple ones. <laughs> of her own. Same thing. It's not just two, man. It's like eight. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Interesting. Um, 
what the hell drugs do they take to make that into reality? Just beer, baby. Just lean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works too. So, what other... Can you tell me other fucking Toho characters that are like designed off of crazy stuff? Uh... Sure, I'll see what I can what else I can find in the wiki. I mean we already So how the hell did I get Chi Chi on Toho Lost Word but I didn't get I don't have Chi Chi on Genshin? <laughs> ah yeah, he shows up in Toho 13, aptly named Ten Desires, and because of that I get it confused with Toho 10. Which is not named Ten Desires. What? Yeah, she's a Jiangxi. Ain't that epic? Not really. <laughs> Very boring and not really original. I think. Uh, that's that's what fucking Toho is all about. It's all about Eastern culture. <laughs> uh. Your character. Question. Um, is there a character like um, based off of Sun Wukong? What the fuck is that? Um, God of. Okay, so Sun Wukong, Resty. He is an immortal monkey god. Um. Uh, how do I say this? He basically found like multiple ways to become immortal, and he took all of those ways to become immortal. He's like, he has layers upon layers of immortality on himself. <laughs> Bruh. I mean, there is a species of yokai known as hermits that basically just live really, really long lives after attaining enlightenment or something. Oh, that's a different thing. I don't know, there's a Bake Danuki as well in Toho. Yeah, no. Sorry. Go search Sun Wukong, Rusty. He is a famous character, like really famous. Everyone knows about that guy. Like every game tries to add him into their game, you know. <laughs> He's just that well known. I see. Okay. Uh, how's this? A personal favorite of mine for a weird character. Uh, Seija Kijin. She is known as an Ama no Jaku. What they is are, that? They are a yokai uh, who basically think every day is opposite day. They like what people hate and hate what people like. So what happens if they see pineapple on pizza then? Do they hate it or do they like it? Because there's a good amount of people that hate it and there's a good amount of people that also like it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what happened then? <laughs> do they hate pineapple on pizza or do they like pineapple on pizza? <laughs> Maybe Seiyuja would just overload because she doesn't know what to think. <laughs> me! <laughs> Her ability is that she can flip things over. She can probably use that ability to switch someone's gender around if she wanted to. Ah, oh, gender swap. That sounds nice. So that's neat. Yeah, have you ever thought about being a girl, Rusty? Because now you can. We just times. What the fuck? Who the hell is this bitch? Cowboy eh. bird. Eh? What the fuck are you going on about? Who is this bitch? I need to know her name. Let me hang on. The full auto is still still going on. <laughs> okay. Um. Black. Chilin. Eh? It's in the Hifu. I'm doing the extra stages, right? Uh huh. Hang on. Menu. Enemy info. Like, what can uh, I see? Uh, the characters in Hifu are weird. They're usually named something else rather than what they actually are. Because they. I think she. I think she might be Ayasha Mimer. She has, she has the wings, the black wings, 
but she's wearing a cowboy hat. Ah. With like. Actually, Zun really, really loves Tangu for some reason. There are a so, lot of Tangu in Toho. I believe that is Saki Kuro Koma, the extra stage uh, boss of Toho yeah. 17. She has two dogs, like left and right of her? Yep, that's Saki. What the fuck? Why do they all look the same? The thing her goes. ability is having unmatched legs, Trep. What? Exactly. Look at those Never thighs. Read. What do you mean? Uh, apparently her apparently her ability is that she has really good legs. Sounds like Metatons what? met her his match. How is that an ability? <laughs> She just has Isn't really just good a... legs. Apparently. Wait, how is that? Isn't, just, isn't that just a fucking natural talent, like born with it, you know? Or, you know, something you can just train with lots of physical yeah, labor yeah, and that. shit. Yeah. I don't also know, that, man. Yeah. <laughs> Abilities in Toho are something else, man. There are characters that, uh, I have the ability to read anything. And then, and then there's also the other spectrum where I can stop time. Uh, but I can also rewind time. Or even fast forward time. Basically, I, I can just control time. You. Yep. I could probably stab you while I don't even have frozen. to think it. But if I, but if I wanted to, you could just be dead. Amazing. That sounds very dumb. Like, where's the balancing team? This shit is. This shit feels like more unbalanced than League of Legends balancing. <laughs> That's why spell card rules exist. <laughs> Otherwise, everyone would just be killing each other with their overpowered abilities, apparently. <laughs> is there a spell card um, um, trademark that um, you throw planets? Like, you use planets as bullets? Actually, yes. Someone does throw planets at you. If I remember correctly. Who? Uh, extra stage boss, I believe. I don't remember her very well. Because I've okay, never um, fought her. Question, um... So, what are the planets that they throw? The... Just random ones. Okay, how about how about I just show you what she looks like because uh you're gonna you're gonna love her character design. Sure. Is she <laughs> is it gonna be like her? <laughs> Oh yes. Why why does she also not wear why is she also barefoot? Why is everyone in Toho barefoot? I may send the picture, I'm waiting. Anyway. Uh, this is Hecatia. Hecatia Lapis Lazuli. Oh shit, where did it she's get the saved? One, she's, the one, she's the one that throws planets? Oh yeah. Her subordinate is Clown Piece. That's her as she appears in the original game she was featured in. What the fuck are those feet? <laughs> <laughs> and look at that fucking shirt she's wearing. <laughs> What does she actually throw at you? Lots of things. She does throws she the moon. Do... She throws the earth. Uh -huh. uh, she even throws hell. Okay, so if I make a fucking spell card that throws um, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, fucking other planets aside from Earth and the moon, um, it should be fine, right? <laughs> I guess so. And that'd be a pretty no cool copyright. spell. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what if... What if there's a spell card that just throws a bunch of Plutos at you? <laughs> <laughs> How about you made a really big penis joke by throwing Uranus in the shape of a penis? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a spell card. <laughs> Why, Rusty? Why did you make? Why did you make me think of that? <laughs> I don't, 
<laughs> How did we get into this? <laughs> yeah, this is, is all my fault. Character, is this character that throws soda cans or soda soda fucking stuff? I don't know. I I guess not. Hmm. So what you're telling me is that there's a bunch of other stuff that hasn't been touched in Toho. Huh. I guess, yeah. As old as the game is and as many shit there are, it technically still hasn't covered everything. Yet. Yet? <laughs> what <laughs> if there's a card that throws other gods? A what? At your enemies? A spell card that throws gods at your enemies. I don't God. even know how that would work. But hey, if a character had the ability to do that, that is one heck of a way to show off. You throw gods at your enemies. Because <laughs> yeah, that is mostly what Danmaku is to the more powerful yokai. Just them showing huh. off their abilities. <laughs> you know electric fans, Rusty? You know the fucking fans? Like the actual thing that rotates? Yeah. Anybody you anybody use that before? <laughs> yeah, there's lots of uh, patterns that involve spinning, but no one's ever shoot wind at you before, I'm pretty sure. Huh. <laughs> that's what you meant? No, the electric fans. You know, the fucking actual fans that blow wind at you. But why? Has anybody used it for bullets? <laughs> why not? <laughs> you said anything can be bullet trusty. I guess so, yes. And that is indeed the case. And why not, I guess, throw a fan. <laughs> Name How is many bit, bullet your biggest types fan are there? or something. <laughs> How many bullet types are there? Oh, okay, so there's never there's the bullet bullets, which is normal bullets, right? Yep, there is, in Toho Lost Word at least. Uh, just for balancing purposes. There are around six bullet types if I remember correctly. There is liquid, normal, body, liquid. energy, the most common type of bullet. Uh, energy. Liquid. Uh, there is liquid, light, and Ep laser. Okay, so that's heaven, I'm pretty sure. You forgot about... Okay. Normal bullet. A Fuda bullet. Missile bullet. Oh yeah, yeah. There's, there's still so many, huh? Yeah, those are the more uncommon types that you rarely get to see. There's laser bullet, there's liquid bullet, there's I hard imagine. bullet, there's ice bullet, there's... Yeah, what so there's... exactly does the bullets mean? Like... like I already said when we first started playing the game, they're just tags for uh, health, for story cards and stuff. But does the actual so like the, the actual bullet types matter in like the or the bullet hell game? Uh, I mean, uh, the most uh, bullet a bullet type matters would be how they look, and you know, and oh, yeah. their hitbox. A missile it bullet would be shaped like a missile, and would have a missile shaped hitbox, etc., etc. That's yeah, you also forgot about this one, Rusty. It's called sharp bullets, right? <laughs> oh yeah, sharp bullets. Those are nice. You can always me... tell what direction they're flying at, at least. <laughs> this is where they're pointing at. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, hmm. Like, d does that matter in the actual bullet hell game? No. It doesn't matter what bullet hits you. If it hits you, you are gonzo. Boom, bam, blah, Why do you have the different types in the first place? Like I said, because because RPG. Archetypes are an important yeah. factor when it comes to RPGs, you know? So how do they determine which enemies are weak to which bullet types and shit? Try a combination of the original game, uh, the inspirations of folklores, and uh, all that good shit. Why is fucking... um, what's her name? 
the librarian from the fucking Scarlet Devil Mansion, Kawakuma. Mm. Yeah. She has fire elements, right? Yes, because she is a devil. Devils are why usually is she associated fire? with fire, right? I swear I why, why is she weak to fire? What? Why is she weak to fire? She is? Yeah. Let me look that up. Her shield breaks from fire. Bruh. <laughs> go out, come Even on, though she's fire. She is an A tier, if I remember correctly. A plus, A plus. D buffer. Yep, she is indeed weak to fire. But why? Harugasumi, that is the name of her temperament. Harugasumi, a total lost word original, <laughs> refers to the haze that appears in the spring. It is similar to Hanagumori, Patchouli's temperament. And the way this temperament blocks out the sun is very apt for a member of the Scarlet Devil Mansion. Just like Patchouli, Koakuma's face and essence endowments are a little unusual. As the denizen of the dark and the magical being, Koakuma is strong against star essence and moon essence. On the other hand, she is weak to sun and fire face, which are considered holy symbols in foreign lands to the west. Okay. Huh. Sun and fire are considered holy? And they do have... Wouldn't she be weak to water? Shouldn't she be weak to water then? Because water is also considered holy. Holy water, specifically. Indeed. And... Um, Water is usually considered a symbol of like purity and cleansing, you know? Yeah. And the healing and shit, right? Yeah. Also, Koakuma and Patchouli's temperaments are nothing alike. Patchouli is resistant to everything. Koakuma is not. Patchouli knowledge. Yeah, she's resistant to everything but Star. <laughs> It's kind of ironic, Rusty, how she's resistant to everything except, you know, she's kind of sickly and shit like that. I know, right? <laughs> how does she resist everything when she's sickly by herself? Like, how how that work? <laughs> Indeed. Questionable design choices. She's still a beat here in the end. <laughs> That's the sad part. Yeah. Hmm. So is it is the fucking Udon game that I have just basically cheating the game. I guess that's the point of having an AX tier. Yeah, but she's actually cheating because she can't break her shield. Okay. Right? I guess she has so. a weak. I mean, they designed it. That's the intended use. That's kind of dumb. I wish uh, you were time we disconnected. It's 11 o'clock now. Ah, yes. Sleep well. Yes, yes. My eyes are crying for no reason. I think you've been in the screen for too much. It's not that I've been on the screen for too much. It's because I just haven't fucking closed my eyes in a while. And I haven't actually slept yet. I slept for like 20 minutes. And that's it. E exactly, you, you. Okay. <laughs> anyway. It's just. Uh, yeah, goodbye. Fuck you. <laughs> go, go, go read that book. I mean, watch or read whatever you want. Boku Girl and then, you know, Tensei Pandemic. Yeah, good, good luck with that shit. They're gender benders. Yeah. Gender benders are always good. <laughs> if you say so. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, that was a conversation. Anyway, let me try focusing now and see how much farther I can get if I focus. Uh, although I did say I'm trying to perfect uh, during practice by avoiding bombing and losing lives as much as possible. That isn't the whole, that isn't the purpose of me doing practice runs. The purpose of them is to find out which sections I should bomb in order to get a clear in which I can reasonably clear without bombing. 
consistently enough at least. Because if I keep dying to the same thing over and over, that's definitely a prime suspect for bombage, you know? At the very least, me trying to, my best not to bomb or lose a life is practice enough that I get better over time anyway. I mean, that's how I did normal. I used to bomb spam normal difficulty, but now here I am. Bomb spamming lunatic instead. The more, the more things change, the more they stay the same, I guess. Anyway, w wow, I really suck at doing this part. Maybe I should go look up a walker. See how someone performs the stage. Perfectly, at least. So I will probably be bombing in order to maximize point collection. And you know, just in general, I'll, I'll just be bomb spamming. Because I wasn't the max power. Whoops. I'll, rest I'll restart. I only plan on playing for 30 minutes, and it's almost been 30 minutes. Just to say, I'm almost done. think I used to be unable to handle so many bullets. I mean, I still am pretty bad, but uh, I recently watched uh, the first ever uh, part of this Toho series replaying I've been doing. And yeah, I'm very happy I have decided to do this series, because it's really fun to see my growth. I to think I used to struggle with stage 1 and needed to bomb it, and now I can do stage 1 on Toho 6. Without much issue. For the most part. I still die and do have to bomb occasionally. And yeah, I still can't get past Cherno. Ooh. Maybe that strategy doesn't work on Lunatic, or at the very least not with this shot type. Aha! Fuck! I thought I had something going there. So well, I can't believe a stray bullet was what killed me. That's usually the case, isn't it?
uh, stage 4 is really important. It's the longest stage section, but it's also the one with the least variance. And more importantly, it's where I can get the most resources. So my route has to be practically perfect here. That's just the kind of craziness lunatic demands of you, I suppose. I, I saw a strategy where what they did was stream from left to right rather than stick to one side. A novel concept. Unfortunately, uh, moving around that much means having to deal with the arrow bullets. Uh, I don't. I don't like that. Alright, I'll try fighting through the Prism River Sisters, since this is my final attempt of the day anyway, that's why I kept going as far as I did. Alright, this spell is scary, but it's all about moving. I swear I bombed. Is my bomb button not working? Let me try bombing. It's working just fine. And the next non-spell is far easier. It's simply aimed at you. All you need to do is move away. How does he do it? Wow. Of course, be mindful of the red balls. Let me do one more run. Uh, I should hopefully, or if I don't try to, get a border at the places where I know lots of points drop. Which is all the more reason for me to get good at dodging. Because while my border is active, I'd want to keep it for as long as I possibly can to collect as much point as possible. Get even more lives. Okay, I said... Okay, my retry bullshit. I haven't been using it. Maybe... Maybe you should think of something else to add. Or maybe I should just remove it entirely. I, that retry counter... It's worthless. Absolutely worthless. To do some shady dodging there, hopefully. I shouldn't have to do that. But man, do I suck at memorizing. Maybe I should try counting out loud the waves. Love to get a border here. How'd I get cherry point max? Border time.
saw has a lot of moving parts. Warrior. A novel strategy, but one I shall not be implementing. For my route, I've decided minimal movement is just how I like to do things. Yikes, there's just so many crisscrossing moving parts. I just as well as to keep track of all of those. That's about the amount of lives I hope to have by the time I get here. Come on, I swear I bombed! There you go, I actually got bombed this time. Cool. Oops. Lunatic has so much less walls compared to hard and normal. What's up with that? That technically makes this so much easier for me, at least. Ah. Still hard though. Honestly, this spell's just a mess. I don't get it. It's not very pretty at all. I don't like it. It's just a big mess. I captured that? Excuse me. Alright, that's enough of that.